Alright, so today I'm going to show you a basic way to set up flying in your VRChat worlds using Udon. This will just be with a simple object that you hold on to and when you grip it, it'll thrust you forward in the direction that the object is pointing. So we're going to start by making our little pickup object. Uh, just right click create empty. I'm going to put this to 010 and I'm going to rename this flight rocket. Now, just so we have a visual to it that's not just a cube or anything, I've made a basic little model here with a, a handle and two different rockets on either side of it, just so you can tell where you're holding it and the direction it'll be going. Also going to put a slightly shinier material on there. There we go. So now we want to select our base object and we want to put a VRC pickup on it. Just pick up, select that, and it automatically gives us a rigid body as well. And now we can pick it up as soon as we have a collider on it for us to pick up. So let's put a little sphere collider on it because we really only need to grab it in the grip position. Set this to trigger. Oh, and set this to be kinematic so that we ignore collisions with it. I'll shrink the sphere collider down to 0.1. There we go. Just a, a generous grip size. I'm also going to rotate the rocket to be 90-90 just because this is the direction that is forward on this object. If you have local selected up here instead of global, uh, you can rely on the blue arrow being the direction that is forward for your object. And what we want to do is we want to get the information for what is forward for this object, which is why I'm rotating the rocket this way. Now we also want to be able to grab it specifically on this handle, so I'm going to make an object to be a reference for that. This is a, another empty, I'll call this gun grip because it will be considered a gun grabbing type by the pickup. And we have blue pointing the right way. And to make it work with VRChat systems, we have to do minus 90 and minus 90 on the X and Z. I don't know why, but yeah. Come back to our pickup script. Uh, we need to set auto hold to be yes and orientation to be gun. Gun allows us to grip from exactly this position when we put gun grip into exact gun. And auto hold allows us to grab the object and then grip it so we can have an effect using that. So now we basically have this object pick up a bull in game, but we want to actually be able to fly with this. So let's start by giving this an udon behavior component, udon behavior. And in our scripts folder, I will right click create VRChat Udon, Udon Graph Program Asset. And I will call this Flight Rocket. I will just put this on our program source and hit Open Udon Graph. So since we'll be playing with the player's velocity, what we want to do is have a reference to the player. So we're going to do a VRC player API variable, and I'm going to call that player local. But we also want to be able to detect whether or not the rocket effect will be active. So we want a bool that we can toggle on and off. And I'm going to call that is active. So we can check if it is active. Now we want to set the player local uh, variable to actually be the local player. So on the start event, event start, we want to set the player local. Now. To set a variable from this box, you control drag out. However, if you have a node selected already, then you cannot use this feature. You have to deselect and then you can control drag out. I'm assuming this is a glitch that will be patched. Who knows? So to set this, I'm just going to drag out of this because I have search on noodle drop enabled and we can just search local player. So we have VRC SDK base networking get local player. And that gets a reference to the player that is local in game. Now we want to set is active to be true if you're gripping it. And we want to set is active to be false if you release that grip. Grip is detected by pick up use down, which is another event. And releasing that grip is pick up use up. And we just need to Control drag is active to get a set. We'll slide this into here. And since we want is active to be true when you're grasping it, we will set this to be true. 
And I'll just copy and paste this one over here, do the same thing, and disable it so it's false when we let go. Now, we want to set the player's velocity whenever this is true. And since that's a physics event, what we want to put that in is instead of on update, which happens every frame, we want to have it happen in fixed update, which instead happens 50 times a second, regardless of frame rate. So it's more consistent for physics, but less consistent for other things. But since we're doing physics here and nothing else, we can rely on just using fixed update. So event fixed update. So in fixed update, we want to see if is active is true. Otherwise we don't want to do anything. So we'll grab our is active and we'll drag out of it, search branch and get our true or false statement and just connect the two there. Now, if it is true, we want to do some stuff. So we're going to be set the setting the player's velocity. So we'll get a reference to the local player through here. We'll drag out and search set velocity. We'll connect this to be true. Now we need to get it some values right here. So first we want to get a reference to what the player's present velocity is. So we'll drag out of our player local again and do get velocity. Now we want to take the player's present velocity and add on to it with the direction that your object is facing, which is a simple process of just dragging out from vector three and searching addition. Now we can combine this with any other value. What I'm going to combine it with is transform forward. There we go. And now it's adding these two together to give a new direction for your velocity to be heading. Now this is happening 50 times a second. So this is technically infinite acceleration. Infinite acceleration. Infinite propulsion. Infinitely deadly. Now that's perfectly fine. And you can absolutely use that in your system. And people just have to know when to slow down and hold in reverse. And that's perfectly fine. Uh, but if you want to clamp the maximum speed that your player can go at, we will have to do a vector three clamp magnitude so we can cut down on the maximum speed that the player can be going. So out of vector three, we will search clamp magnitude. And I've found that 50 or 40 is a good number. So I'll just put 50 and we just tie this vector three into velocity there and we're done. And this is our script. We have this on our flight rocket object here, so I'm gonna hit compile and we'll load up game. All right, here we are in game. This is our object and we can pick it up and it's held in the right position. If I hold down, we accelerate forwards, but we also cap out at a maximum speed, which allows it to be much more controllable. And we can just hold in any direction and we fly in that direction. This of course works in VR as well, but uh, until my index gets here, my VR situation is a, a little bit broken. All right, let's head back into Unity and do the same thing with Udon Sharp. All right, so in our scripts folder, we'll just right click create U Sharp script, and I will call this Flight Rocket Sharp, just because it's the Udon Sharp variant. Now we'll let Unity import this script that we just made. And as soon as that's done, we put the U sharp one on our program source right here. Now you double click the C sharp script to open it up in your editor of choice. And I have Visual Studio Code. Oop, I have an update to Visual Studio Code. So before start, we want to make our two variables that we made in the graph, which will be our private VRC player API, player local. And we want a private bool is active for the same purposes, telling if it's active and telling what the local player is. On the start event, we want player local to equal networking.local player, and that gives us our reference. So when we grip, we need to set is active to true, and when we release the grip, we want it to be false. So private void on pickup use down we want is active to equal true then 
private void on pickup use up, we want is active to be false. Now let's go into fixed update. And we want to check if is active is true. And we don't have to do anything else in here. We can just say if is active. And it automatically assumes we're asking if it's true. Go into some brackets. And we'll set the player velocity. So player local dot set velocity. And this is a method. So we'll put it in parentheses. And since we want to clamp the max speed that you can go at, we will do vector three dot clamp magnitude and this is another method so we'll do parentheses again and in here we will do player local dot get velocity another method and add this the transform dot forward then since this is the first value of clamp magnitude we also need to tell it the max number to clamp it at so we'll do comma and 50 then we end the line there we go so just to go over that, we're taking the player's present velocity and we're adding to it with where this object is looking forward. Then we're clamping that value, so we're putting a max number on it. And with that method, we first give it the speed we're adding and 50, which is the max speed. And we're taking this new number and setting it to be the player's new velocity in this method right here. Control S and we can close out. We'll let Unity re-import this script and we can select our flight rocket object. Now that we have all this imported, we can just hit compile all Udon Sharp programs to be safe and we'll load up into game. And there we are, we're back in game. We can grab our object and fly around with it. We have the same effect as doing it with the node graphs and we can fly around anywhere we want. So there you go. That is the basic system that I use for flying in VRChat. I hope you enjoyed. I will leave the assets, as always, available on Patreon. So if you want my uh, little kind of pod racer claw toy thing, I don't know. I don't know what this is. It's two rockets on a stick. Uh, if you want this and the scripts that I use in this video, you can of course get them on my Patreon. All other links for the Udon SDK, the Udon Sharp package, and all of my social information will be in the description as well. Please, if you have any ideas for videos, put them in the comments. If you have any questions, concerns, or anything like that, just feel free to leave them, and I can look over everything in time. Hope you enjoyed. We'll see you again.